Have you decided what the Senate's going to do? Should the House pass this? We're going to wait and see what the House does. Um, and, and frankly, then we'll decide, we'll have hearings, and we'll make a decision based on what they've got. We started evaluating the academic standards uh, a while ago. The Senate worked real hard to instill some checks and balances in 487. Uh, we're just now starting to make the appointments to those committees. Uh, I think it's important that we have local control of education in Ohio. But the most important thing for me is that we have uh, increased academic achievement for all Ohio. And that's what we're going to keep focusing on. Would you put it through a normal committee process, or would you do something kind of like that? We house? always do everything in normal committee processes in the Senate. I mean, we made a commitment this year to try and make sure that we had deliberative processes on what we did, and we've done that on most everything we've done. Um, look, time is short. We come back in November. Um, we're going to have to take some time to, to make sure we hear whatever was there. First thing to see if the House is going to pass it. And I'm curious is what if, if, if they do do a repeal, what are they going to replace it with? Uh, we want to make sure we still have academic challenges in, in, in Ohio schools. The other issue we're going to wrestle with now and next year into the budget is doing some serious regulatory reform for education. Um, most of our schools in Ohio do a good job. They need less uh, command and control from Columbus and more authority to run their schools locally. Are there some school districts that, that frankly need some extra help and some nudges that aren't doing quite as good a job, yes. But that's not most school districts in Ohio. And so we're going to look at ways to unbundle and deregulate some education in Ohio. And, and that, I think, goes a long way towards addressing these issues as well.